Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a static listener. In our previous video, we learned about how to create a dynamic listener. So today, we're going to be looking at how to create a static listener. Now, what does it mean to create a static listener, you may ask? To create a static listener simply means to manually add the services, manually add the database services, okay? And in few simple steps, you'll be able to do that. So let's jump right to our server. As you can see, our server is already up and running, and um, I'm already at the part where I have the listener configuration files. And so the first thing I want to do is to open the listener.ora file, and then remember, we had created this listener before, listener five, okay? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy the entire listener five, copy it, and then come here and paste it. Okay, create some space, paste it. And then I want to rename it, rename, to listener underscore test, right? And then the next thing I want to do is to change the port number, sorry, change the port number to 1526. Okay, then the next thing I want to do is to enter and then type this SID underscore list underscore listener underscore test is equal to, remember we are manually adding the services, okay? And then I'll come here, open a bracket, and then close the bracket, okay? And say SID underscore list is equal to, and then I'll come here, and then open another bracket and then close that bracket as well. Close that bracket as well. Inside that, I'll place SID underscore description equal to, and yet again, I'll open one bracket and close and open another bracket and close. And open another bracket and close. I need you to just follow me closely. Now in the first bracket, I'm going to write global underscore DB name is equal to, and then for the second bracket, don't worry, we'll fill up all those values. I just need us to set the parameters right. In the second bracket, SID underscore name is equal to, and then in the third bracket, we'll do Oracle underscore home is equal to. So one thing you should understand, we're actually configuring this listener to actually listen for the pluggable databases we have in this database, okay? So this is the way to go about it. So to get the global database name, okay, I'll quickly open a terminal. Let me bring this here so we can have them side by side, okay? Okay, so let's start filling the values. Now for us to get the Oracle underscore home, of course we were supposed to be familiar with that by now, but just in case, you know, I'll do this echo um, dollar sign oracle underscore home. And then you can see the oracle home. So we'll copy this as it is. Okay. Just so we don't make any errors. We'll copy and then we come here and paste it. So this value has been gotten. Now your SID name, of course, you should know that your SID name is O-R-C-L. 
and then your global database name should be orclpdb.com. All right. So we've gotten our values. Now the next thing we want to do is to save this file and then we close. Now we did just for ORCL PDB because, um, because that's about the only pluggable database we have here. If you have other databases, you have to repeat this entire entry for that pluggable database, okay? So we save and then we close. Now, the next thing we do is on our terminal, we have to call up the listener utility with this command. Okay, so now that the listener utility is up, we have to start that particular listener that we just created. Let me open it again so we get to see. All right, so I'll keep it here. So this is the name of the listener, listener underscore test, right? So we'll start that particular listener. Start listener underscore test. Okay, you can see that the command has been completed successfully. So the listener has been started already, right? Now the next thing we want to do is to exit this utility since the listener has been started. Now we'll try to connect the system user, okay, to the pluggable database with this particular listener. So for that, I'll run the simple command, SQL plus system slash Ebony. Ebony is a password at testdb.com slash orclpdb.com. Okay, let's enter and then see how it goes. So you can see that the system user is connected to the database using this particular static listener. So guys, like I said earlier, assuming we have another pluggable database that we want to add the services, all we need to do is copy this entire list, right? And then come here and paste. And then we will need to edit this place to reflect whatever pluggable database we have. Okay, let me say um, PDB1. Sorry. Let me say we have a pluggable database, PDB1. So it could be pdb1.com and then, you know, everything flies, right? So guys, this is how you create a static listener. I hope this lecture was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.